Today is the fifth Friday of Lent. My name is Abion Kahlo and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Allow me to share with you my own reflections on today's Gospel reading, taken from John chapter 10, verses 31 to 42. You probably have noticed this, that as we are approaching and coming near to Holy Week, the daily Gospel readings has been slowly building to a crescendo to greater hatred of Jesus. Just like our Gospel today, some of the Jews who were gathered around him in the area near the temple or known as the Solomon's porch, they were trying to trap Jesus and ask him this question, just tell us if you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. And they were hoping that Jesus would say something that would be construed as blasphemy. And indeed, when Jesus said in verse 30, I and the Father are one, they thought that, okay, we got him. And at the back of our minds, we could say, how could they reject Jesus when everything that Jesus taught and everything that he did points to his divinity, points to who he really is, that indeed he is the Son of God? How can they reject him? Well, my dear friends, when we look at the world we live in, when we looked at ourselves, our lives, and the lives of those close to us, it doesn't take long for us to discover that we, all of us, myself included, would pick up metaphorically that stone of persecution and we persecute Jesus. How do we do that? When we fail to feed the hungry, when we fail to clothe those who are naked, when we fail to take care of those who are sick and visit those who are in prison, we are given an opportunity to gaze in the eyes of Jesus in those people. But what do we do? Do we realize that we're actually gazing in the eyes of Jesus through them? Or do we look away and lock ourselves in the prison of our own desires. We are given an opportunity every day to gaze in the eyes of Jesus. But a lot of times, we reject Him. As we approach Holy Week, and during Holy Week, I invite you to honestly confront yourself, confront ourselves and be honest that there are times that we actually reject Jesus but I also would like to invite all of us to proactively let go of the stone of hatred and embrace Christ the Christ that we meet every day in our lives God bless us all